Marriage 13. Today, what we're doing is dropping off my truck to get a bed liner put in, or I guess spray and bed liner like factory, and get uh, the Ford factory gooseneck prep package put in as well. So we're gonna be dropping uh, my 2020 King Ranch off at the dealership. And while they've got that going on, um, sorry if there's any wind noise. I apologize. It's kind of breezy in this gas station area or my fueling area. They'll be giving me a loaner vehicle in the meanwhile, so I'll have that to drive around. So I wonder what they're giving me. It's probably gonna be an F-150 of some sort. I hope it's like a higher level Lariat or XLT or something like that. At least I've still got my black 2017 King Ranch, which the guy that was supposed to buy ended up flaking on me, which I should have known better. He been talking to him for months and did all I mean I've put like three or four grand into it just to just to have it to his his liking and what happens I drive up to West Monroe for about 45 minutes and sitting there waiting at the bank that we had decided to meet at and he flaked so that's always nice love when a plan comes together Oh, and side note, I think one of y'all or a couple of y'all have been asking me how much it costs to fill up my truck. Just like what the cost of owning a diesel is. Uh, I just put in, I don't know if you can tell there. Let's see if we can zoom in. Nope, can't zoom in. Uh, well, what it says is 29 gallons at $2 a gallon, about 58, 60 bucks. And I had about 55, 54 miles to empty. 60 bucks to fill it up, ain't bad. I get, I think my range is about, here, I'll show you. Range is 536 miles to E, which is pretty good. Let me talk a little bit about the cost of owning a diesel, um, especially a modern day diesel, I guess, uh, if that's a thing. From all the power strokes that I've had, I'll tell you a little bit about my maintenance intervals and things like that. Usually I change my oil every about four to six thousand miles i don't like to go any longer than that just because i've always done that and it's always worked out for me i've never never had any uh, motor issues knock on wood and so i'm gonna always keep doing that as far as when it comes to um my fuel filter changes I do my fuel filter changes at about every seven to 8,000 miles, sometimes 10, depending on where I'm driving and how much time I've, I've got to be able to, to do that. And this is another question I'm sure I get. Do I change my own oil? Do I do my own maintenance and things like that? Yes, I used to, but nowadays, to be honest, it's, it's cheaper for me, as, especially as far as time to be able to just have a, a shop do it um, or, the, or I guess the dealership that I take it up to to do it. Yeah, it's about a 45 minute drive up there and I've got to sit around and wait and stuff like that. But, um, you know, while I'm waiting, I'm able to do business and take care of calls and work and things like that. So it works out. Another question is how often do I service my transmission? Like doing a trans flush or something like that. Uh, I. I've only done them a couple times because I usually don't have the truck long enough to be able to do that. But every now and then I'll be, I'll do a trans flush and I forget how much they even are. I haven't even gotten one in, in a long while. So, uh, I don't know the cost of that. Um, for oil changes, typically, I think they're about anywhere from a hundred, uh, $120, something like that. And then for fuel filter change if I'm cur if I remember correctly about 190 200 or something like that maybe 300 uh, for the newer trucks all of these prices that I'm saying are all relative to your market and how much your area charges and things like that so it's gonna be different from California to uh, Texas to Florida to uh, Ohio Chicago I mean it's all gonna be different but the thing is, I put it down to its value of my time. How much do I value my time? Is my time better spent and better valued at changing my own oil or 
doing my own uh, maintenance and things like that, or is it cheaper just to take to the dealership? So that's a thing you have to sit down and decide. <laughs> Two wheel drive. You got five miles on. Let's see how she does the next two days. Well, guys, uh, I'm back. Oh, I didn't show you me leaving, but they gave me a call and the gooseneck prep package that was supposed to have been in uh, is back ordered until mid August. And uh, they thought it had it on the shelf, and because usually it's a next day part or whatever. But it's all good. Return that blue thing. The thing was hideous. It was getting like 19 miles a gallon. My truck's getting like 23 on the highway. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I just went ahead and threw a factory rubber mat in here. And this morning what we're doing is deleting my buddy Cody's truck. He's been wanting to do it for a little while and he asked me about it the other day and I was like, all right, let's do it. So we're doing that. And then also we're gonna throw in a leveling kit on I don't know, whenever we get the chance. We've been going so crazy, We've been out of town and our businesses and things like that. He owns a timber company called BNS Timber. Go check him out if you ever need any uh, logging services done or uh, have any wood you need to sell and things like that, let me know. Or I guess let him know. We're gonna get started on it and here we go. Got done with Cody's truck. I'll show you a little clip of it here. As you can see, we got his truck all done, and here in the next couple weeks, as we get time, we'll put the leveling kit on. I'm heading to tune another truck at the body shop here locally and get that knocked out for them. And I've got to run, run a couple errands, stop by the post office and things like that. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It's just a little bit about uh, what I had going on. Thought I'd just shoot a video and update y'all on what's going on with the truck. I'm at about uh, almost 1,550 miles already, and my average MPG has been 19.7, which is pretty good because a lot of it's been uh, a lot of it's been highway. But at the same time, I've been doing a lot of in-town driving, and I let my truck and sit in the idle and things like that. So, not too bad for uh, a diesel truck. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe. As always, thanks for supporting us outdoortrucks.com hit us up on facebook instagram uh, or down in the comments below take care guys bye